So again, here we are. Welcome to my life. Raising other people's kids. Got something on your face there. Got something on your face. It's a towel. Yeah, it is. It's K Rock Kitty Cat. If you guys can't notice, let's see if I can do this in the mirror. Oh, I'm walking a little crippled today. Finally got me some new shoes. New shoes. New shoes. New shoes. New shoes. Can't complain about the old ones. Those Salmon Gore Tex hikers. The speed laces. They're dope. So please excuse the mess, everybody. But everybody knows the story. I went to school and my life's fucked. Could be worse. I left it what? It was like ten o'clock yesterday. Ten o'clock yesterday and get home till twelve thirty. Fuck you guys. Success doesn't happen overnight. I cracked a beer because I was hungry. I was going to eat something. And I got real far, didn't I? Put some poison in my body this morning to wake up. <sighs> Looks like it must not be 100% filtered. Here, I got shit from the glass. Sandwich, Doritos, more poison, and that shit's legal to fucking sell. Let's see what's on this label. Oh shit, that's right. I can't sit down on my toilet. Gotta love my dukes. God bless her. Ugh. Gonna be doing some stretching today. Gotta take care of my old man body. The reason why I posted up. Oh, the shoes there because they're awesome shoes and this last go around so I had the old style they were like some green ones whatever they they must have re-engineered I don't know maybe this is like version 3.0 but they must have re-engineered the midsole they definitely made the outsole better I'll tell you that 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 lasts so much longer those the last pair of shoes I had I bought them Back when I was working for CT Mail, so I was like 2012. Shit, they lasted me more than four years. No shoes don't owe me a fucking dime. But when I was out doing my schlub hub grub hub deliveries, uh, oh yeah, my beard, my hair is messed up. Thinking about shaving it off. I'll definitely be posting something of that up on IG. Before. After. Slide of the hair in my sink. It's an annual thing, so don't take this the wrong way, people. But every every year I shave my shave my beard off. This is going back like five no, this is longer than that. Well, maybe about ten years. It's a private joke, but I denounce the nation of Islam. I'm Catholic. It's not that funny. But you know what? You people that take your religion too seriously. Don't get a butt hurt over that shit. Don't go shooting people up. Whatever, dude. Freedom of religion. It should be universal. It should be a worldwide thing. So anyways. Those five-year-old shoes when I'm out doing my slub hub grub hubs. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. I noticed, I noticed some wet socks. And uh, that's also why I, I, bought the, I bought the new pair. Or why I wore the new pair. To Boston yesterday. Um, yeah, we had some weather, so I didn't know what the streets were going to be like in Boston. And it was cold. The other new shoes I got were, they're like breathable ones, so I didn't want to get my feet wet. I needed that Gore Tex. And, uh, yeah. But I haven't broken them in yet. Oh, my feet hurt. My fucking back hurts. My whole posterior chain is like straight fucked, bro. 
and my girls and the kids. So that's that. Uh, wound up staying a little longer because I was having a conversation with some some lifelong career nurse practitioners. Uh, one's originally from Virginia, one's from Jersey. We'll mention any names here. They're not gonna watch my shit anyways. They're old. They don't watch YouTube. I asked them if they were on the gram. They're like, What's that? What's IG? Meanwhile, they're sitting here. I thought this was pretty cool because I was telling them how I just barely got my dukes <coughs> to uh, make use use text messages, and they were making bit emojis next to me. It was kind of cute. And they're like, "Yeah, our kids are like your age." So then I told them how old I was, and they're like, mm -hmm, "Okay, yeah, cannabis. Wait till you meet Arco Fred. He's sixty years old. He looks like he's like freaking low forties." So anyways, let's read the ingredients of this Doritos bag, and we'll go back to the women, the conversation that I, the biochemist, had with the nurse practitioners with probably over, probably close to 100 years combined experience. Mm. Yeah, probably close to... Probably close to, yeah, probably close to 80 We'll round that up to 100. That rounds out to 100, right? Probably close to a million years of combined experience in medicine. Corn. I know what that is. Vegetable oil. <laughs> I didn't know that vegetable oil is so broadly classified on the backs of labels, FDA. WTH, WTF. Sunflower, canola, and or corn oil. Okay. Maltodextrin. Made from corn. Does anybody know what that is? I'm not really 100%. I'd have to look it up in order to explain it to you off the top of the head. But it sounds like it's a... Sounds to me like it's a pretty complex sugar molecule. So you got, here, let me explain this. You got a glucose. I could be wrong. So anybody out there call bullshit on me. I mean, I did graduate back in 09er and destroyed the rest of my fucking life because I was trying to pursue that dream. So wake the fuck up, people. It's 2019 right now. I've been on this path for, it'll be two years about straight not giving a fuck anymore. And just straight YOLO, follow your own path, create your own fucking opportunities. Two years. Rookie of the Year 2019. Canon Rookie of the Year. Alright. So yeah, you got your, your glucose. And then I believe sucrose is glucose, glucose linked together. And then you got all sorts of other freaking, they call them different uh, sugar whatevers. I don't know. I know I'm explaining this terrible, but I just woke up, so I need to get my medicine in me. For sure. I think today's going to be a, be a GDP day. That shit hits you like a fucking freight train. Well, at least mine does. No thing or two about a thing or two. So anyways. Uh, then you got starch. I do know starch. Starch is like starch is like a shitload of them. It's like a whole sheet. So you see starches? Don't eat that shit. Your body is fucking work real hard to break that down. Salt. I know what that is. Let's see how much sodium from salt. Two hundred and ten milligrams. Nine percent. About three servings in this bag. So I got 27%. <clears throat> it's a little scraps left over. 27% yesterday. I don't go overdo it on salt. I don't eat too much processed bullshit. I think I'm pretty good there for daily intake. Albeit, if you want to go back to evolution, probably close to... What's this? Is this in milligrams? 210... So they're saying 27% is around 630. 
times that by three, two grams. Nah. You're probably better off from an evolutionary uh, perspective to be, I would say, <clears throat> and I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not an evolutionist nutritionist. I'm going to have to talk to some experts. But I'm going to I'm gonna ask me probably about a gram, gram and a half. So, according to the FDA, and they can go fuck themselves. Um, according to them, they're allowing us a little bit higher than I would recommend in totality. But you know what? YOLO, right? Look at my freaking eyes. I got freaking bags, dude. Ugh. I definitely feel like that. Alright. So we got cheddar cheese, milk, cheese cultures, salt enzymes. I don't know how the hell they make their cheddar cheese, but... Mm, maybe that's just a broad description of what cheddar cheese is. Sounds pretty damn accurate. I bet it's... I bet it's... You know what? This cheddar cheese, though, that they put in these Doritos... I bet it's cheaper ass shittier cheese than, than that government cheese. Just saying. Alright. Whey. We all know what that is. If you don't, when you separate milk to make cheese and all that crap, it's the part that floats to the top of the concoction. They use that to make whey protein. I'm pretty sure that's where the, uh, the milk allergy comes from. Don't quote me on that. I'm here to teach. I know this is boring. Mono sodium glutamate. What the fuck is that? I guarantee you that's not found in nature. So one sodium molecule, one Na. I'm assuming it's on um, expressed on some functional group off of a a glutamate molecule. I'm pretty sure glutamate is an amino acid. If I remember my biochemistry correctly. So we can we are combining a sodium molecule with an amino acid. Probably not the best thing to do, but because it's uh, monosodium, it's doesn't I don't think that would uh, that would really give you too much cellular stress in breaking that down. Sounds like that's a flavor enhancer. Still not good shit. But it could be worse. Buttermilk. Butter. You guys met K-Rock? We got issues with that girl. She calls herself the Nipster. She likes to go around and get nips. <laughs> Gotta love kids. My, my sister thinks there's a problem with that. She's fucking four years old. She's been grabbing your nips since she was born. Leave her alone. She's a straight fucking clown like me. And I mean, everybody else jokes around with her too, so what do you expect? Let her be who she is. Alright? If you're gonna have me raise your kids, I ain't trying to break their spirit. Grant Cardone says it the best. He's like, yo, why are you going to break the spirit in them? That's what we try to do. That's not fucking cool, man. It's very true. It's very true. Let them, let them wild horses run. Buttermilk, Romano cheese, part skim cow's milk cheese, culture salt enzymes. Doesn't sound like there's anything too bad there. Whey protein concentrate. Let's go back up to protein here. Two grams of protein. Must not be that much whey protein concentrate. I don't know about anybody else, but... Mm, it's not really... Holy shit, there's two grams of protein in this? There's six grams of protein in here? Yo, all you CrossFitters out there... Eat three bags of Doritos after a workout. Post-workout nutrition. <laughs> uh, that's fucking retarded. A lot of salt. You know, you want to be bloated. Get your protein in. Oh, my God. 
Mm, onion powder, more salt, corn flour. That's the chip right there. Natural and artificial flavor. Really? Well, that's the secret. That's the proprietary blend. If we were to give that away, everybody else could rip off Doritos. Okay. That's where the bad shit is. Right there. They're hiding it right there. So thank you, FDA. But in cannabis, we need to have everything tested and show our COA. Hmm. Interesting. But it's okay for it's okay for Doritos to poison poison us. That's cool. That's that's been deemed safe for consumers. Uh, average number of peanut allergies per year, one hundred. I mean, ah, I'm sorry. Fatalities caused by peanut allergies, peanut allergies, one hundred. Number of cannabis related deaths, zero. So here's the other thing, all you guys out there with those vape cartridges, uh, there's been some issues lately puffing on the bad shit, you know, vape life, I'm all about vape, li vape life too, but everything in moderation, man, and uh, maybe you kids out there ain't feeling it because you're young, but I certainly do feel hypertension from it, hypertension is high blood pressure. <clears throat> and because of all this other bad shit that's in that concoction, um, who knows, possibly it could be due to cheap shitty cartridges. Uh, you're looking at, pfft, you know, trust me, pay the money to get better shit. There's a reason why it's cheap shitty garbage. It's straight fucking poison. Right, whey protein concentrate. <laughs> Dextrose. There's a there's a more complex sugar. A couple glucose is put together. <clears throat> that shit's fucking garbage. I think dextrose is one of the more simple ones. It's not as bad though. Tomato powder. Okay. Lactose. Okay. Spices. Okay, artificial coloring, including yellow 6, yellow 5, and red 40. That's bad shit right there. You know what that is? That's straight fucking carcinogens. It's been proven! It's been proven. It's been proven that we link cancer to that, and the FDA approves of it. This is real shit. The government's fucking poisoning you. Also that Frito-Lays Doritos... PepsiCo can profit. Thank you. Lactic acid, citric acid, sugar, garlic powder, skim milk, red and green bell pepper powder, disodium inosinate. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Doesn't sound good though. And disodium guanylate. Tains milk ingredients. Alright, so it looks like we've changed up our formulations. There's not too much bad shit in there, but there's bad shit in there. And this is what Grant Cardone talks about a lot. He's like, if you want to buy good foods for your family, it costs you more money, right? Yeah, it does. You want to buy real shit? Real shit that's going to be good for your... Alright, so let's go, let's go back to the nurse practitioners. We're talking about drugs here. Uh, Biofarm, you know, Viagra, heart medicine with some positive side effects. Um, fuck. This is real shit here, people. That's pretty gross, right? Got something in your beard, Vsauce. Oh, man, man, 
Maybe I'll edit that out. Eventually. You know, this is getting caught raw and just load it up. Because I'm a slam pig. I just slam it up there on the internet. In a bush league. Ah. Alright, so. Here's the thing. There's my fart fan. It's fucked up. It needs to get replaced out. You wanna hear my fart fan? That's on a good day, too. There we go. Alright, fuck that shit. Anyways. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, the beard's coming off today. So, I was talking to these ladies at the bar the other night. And she was talking about how she's super fucking pumped that her, fa her father has replaced oxycodone. And, you know, she was talking about all these meds. And I, 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 I lost myself because I don't know what the hell she's talking about. The other bird over there was saying something else. Kept interrupting. And... You know, nothing's perfect, but it is what it is. So, there's oxycodone, and at least I counted three heart medicines that he has now been able to control himself. That's fucking gross. Control himself, at least to the, uh, the extent of his hypertension and his pain. You know, he's an old man. He's like 80-something years old, she said. So, what do you expect? I mean, I complain about my back and all these pains. Everybody's like, saying, yo, you got a long way to go. You're fucked. I am fucked. But he's been able to control his back pains or whatever. I think she said he had the spinal stenosis. I told him I'm bulging disc issues. Um, You know, they flare up. They're on and off. But... He's been able to control that just through using edible cannabis. And that's that. That's that. Natural shit. A molecule. It perfectly pairs. Excuse me. With the pain receptors throughout your body to control pain. Um, and apparently, according to what she claims... Uh, so it, it might have to do, I can't tell you, but for in his particular case, it could be an instance where uh, just the sheer simple fact that he's reduced his uh, psycho stress, um, it's not being expressed physiologically uh, as hypertension, as high blood pressure, although I don't think with an older, <clears throat> someone that's, 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 you know, we're talking about uh, geriatrics. I do not believe that that would be the case, but I, I, you know, I'd have to talk to him. Uh, we exchange information, and my sister's going off to be a nurse practitioner too. So we'll see. We'll have some some talks with these ladies in Boston. All one of them said she's off to do more missionary work in Africa soon. She got blessed with some gummies. She's having some PTSD issues. Yeah, I'm assuming are also uh, pain related. She was saying she was in a pretty bad car accident. Uncle, Showed me a scar on her neck. Uncle. What? Pretty good hard. All right. Well, that's that. Gotta go. Duty calls. I'm I'm doing a video here. Where's Posey? Get her over here. Come here, Posey. Come here, Posey. Come here, Posey. Well, she fell, so what? So anyways, um, we'll wrap this up real quick. The fuck was I saying? Kids. Vsauce, Vsauce. <laughs> so, <clears throat> um, gave her some, gave her some. Oh, I need to do something. Put it up in her chair again. Oh. Interesting. Alright, I gotta go. Posey's being bad.